So if your camera can shoot 4K, 60 frames per second, have all these great possibilities, what good is it if it doesn't focus? But wait, what if it does? So what you guys just saw is me obviously testing out the facial tracking with the new firmware update 2.3 that came out the May 30th, I think. And after about two to three battery fulls of testing, I think I found the perfect autofocus setting. Um, I did a video about this prior, about last week. I compared it to my G7, and the G7 blew this away, surprisingly. Um, but after, I, I still couldn't believe it. So I gave GH5 the benefit of the doubt, and I played around with the settings, like I said, for about two to three battery fulls of testing. That is a lot of testing just for autofocus. And I thank God found the perfect one okay so let me go ahead and do this test let me put some let me put this camera up into the frame let it focus onto the camera and then focus on me then i'll step out step back in and then i'll show you guys what the actual settings are uh to see if you guys are even interested but this is the test and back on me good to the camera back on me camera back on me so it's working pretty good let's try confusing it with the mirror side not bad so as you can see it is much improved and now I'm gonna step out of frame step back in and show you guys how that works Okay, so now it's obviously focused over there somewhere, and I'm just going to step back into frame and see how quick it recognizes my face and uh, locks onto it. Again, this is low light testing, so um, it's not going to be uh, performing as well as daytime, obviously. So let's just try that again. It caught on pretty quick. Not bad. Did it work? Yeah. It's catching on pretty quick. Yeah, again, this is low light. And um, it is going pretty well. Let me try uh, backing up. Going forward. Yeah, not bad. This is pretty good. Pretty good, GH5. Can't complain. What about now? I can't see the screen, so you guys will have to tell me this. And now. Not bad. Look at that. Look at that. It's not canon level, but hey, it's something. Let me go grab my notes real quick, and by that I mean my iPhone. Alright, these are the settings. You guys ready for this? Turn quick autofocus on, obviously. Now here's the, here's the thing that killed me. There's a switch on the back of your GH5. It says uh, AFC for autofocus continuous. AFF for autofocus flexible and AFS for autofocus spot or something. I think spot. You need to switch it to AFF. All right. Don't just flip it there because it'll still be uh, on AFS. You need to go into your menu, uh, menu settings and switch it to AFF. I read everywhere. Okay. For f AFF, it's, it's confusing to explain. AFF is for non predictable movement. Okay. Like the camera doesn't know I'm going to be here. That's why it's always scanning the surrounding areas to make sure if I do go there, the autofocus can catch up. AFC, which I thought that it was supposed to be using the whole time, AFC is similar to AFF, but it is uh, more predictable. For example, um, if you're uh, you know filming cars race, if the, if the camera notices you're going in one direction, it'll scan the area ahead of the subject that is in frame it'll process that area and then when the subject gets there it'll automatically focus already so that, that it's more predictable that way um, vlogging is not predictable the camera doesn't know what you're gonna do next what object you're gonna bring up in, into the frame camera doesn't know that so AFF the next setting obviously facial tracking facial tracking on the GH5 works wonders with 2.3 never had a problem even in low light situations I don't even think I've ever uh, lost focus while talking to you guys for these seven minutes. 
Um, so turn facial tracking on. Now here's the most important thing. Well, second to most important. On your uh, auto focus um, sensitivity settings on movie mode, not, fo not photo mode, but movie mode, turn the settings to plus three for speed and minus one for sensitivity. I don't know why people turn like plus five sensitivity or plus three or, or whatever it goes up to. I think I think three actually. Don't do that. Okay, by making it more sensitive, your the camera is like, for example, do you think the, the the picture of this man right here? Do you think he's about to run? Probably not. Now, in in this picture, do you think he's about to run? Correct. Think of it that way. This is plus. Uh, this is minus one sensitivity, or this is negative sensitivity. This is positive sensitivity. When you put sensitivity up, your camera is like getting ready to switch focus like any second. Like it doesn't know what you're gonna do, so it's always uh, just you know it's getting ready. That's why all these people who have very high sensitivity, the background's always breathing. Like you see like little bulbs. Like if they hang those Edison bulbs on the background and make it look all nice and pretty, yeah, it looks nice and pretty when it's not breathing back and forth. So. But when you put the sensitivity down, your camera is less likely to drop focus. So that's it, guys. That is my settings. I'm going to uh, get my uh, Joby thing, my Joby Gorilla Pod, and I'm just going to walk around my backyard. And I'll promise you guys, it will never lose focus of my face. Um, I will switch to the background a little bit, switch back to my face, and you guys will see it'll stay on your face. So... This is now the test of vlogging. Like I said, many people show this test at a stationary background or if the background's pure white. Um, guys, this is a contrast-based autofocus. If the contrast is pure white, or if the background's pure white, of course you're, you're gonna focus in really good because you are the contrast. But if the, contra if the background's like this right now, that's a lot harder because this camera doesn't know 3D. It doesn't know that I'm actually in front of the fence, right? It doesn't know that. That's why it's contrast based. So the more contrast you add to a photo, the harder it should be for the camera to focus, which is why these types of tests are important. So this is me walking around. Again, it has not lost focus ever since. Sorry if I take my eyes off the camera, guys. I just want to make sure that I'm not lying to you guys. But so far, I mean, Check out that stabilization though. Awesome GH5. Not bad. Let me put down my uh, my uh, my uh, aperture a little bit though. It's too dark or too bright. There you go. Um, but yeah, as you guys can tell, it is fantastic. Now let me try uh, switching to. Let me switch to this leaf over here. I don't know. My background, my ba my backyard is pretty boring, so sorry about that. But. Let me switch to this leaf, and I can't tell, is it, is it in focus? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's in focus. And then I'm gonna switch back to my face. Let me put the viewfinder to my face real quick. And back to my face, and it autofocused to my face beautifully, guys. So I am extremely happy. After five, or three to four batteries, I figured out the best autofocus setting. You guys have no idea how heavy the GH5 is to vlog. So guys, that is pretty much it. If this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, let me know in the comments that you love me because I spent the longest time uh, doing this for you guys. Is it focused? Yeah, it's in focus. I forgot I put the freaking aperture up to eight, so everything's in focus. But let me, let me put it back down to uh, 1.7 it's gonna be overexposed obviously but this is so you guys can know if it's in focus or not so my bad i don't have an nd filter but again if this helped please let me know uh put your comments down tell me that you love me put down mark you're the best because this took me so long do you have no idea how many different variables it, it goes into autofocus why can't it just be a point and shoot i mean obviously it's not a point and shoot but for autofocus, you would think that if you're shooting in, in auto or aperture priority or something of that nature, it should be a little easier to figure out what autofocus is best. Anyway guys, this video is getting way too long. I'm going to let you guys go. My hand's getting really tired from holding this GH5 up, so <sighs> adios. Have a good one.